Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, I had a request for a video of what's in my kitchen and I thought, you know what, that would be a really good video to do. Easy, show what I have. And then I thought to myself, I thought, well, I wanna show you what I have, but I don't want you to think that like you need everything that I show you. And that's why I think I'll tell you in the video things that you don't need, things that I've just acquired because we've moved in this house and we're gonna be here forever. Um, things like this, you know, just go out and go, oh, she has one, I need one. No, I'm gonna tell you what you, the bare minimum you need and then why the reason why I have the other items. And so, because we have always moved from house to house, we've had, I think we've had eight or nine homes, eight homes, maybe nine homes, I don't know, I have to think about it right now. But what happens is we have had to move a lot and we've always had rental homes and we have not had a lot of space. Our last home in Michigan had a basement where I could store things, but then we made the move to North Carolina. And so when we moved here, I had to fit everything into a cube moving truck and so in my head I was like okay what do I not need and then moving to the house that we before here it was a rental home there was not a lot of storage I was thankful for what I had because it did fit everything that I needed but it wasn't like all of our extras and so that's okay so now we bought our home here I have a lot more storage and so I've accumulated things that I want to keep I don't necessarily need them but they do make my life a little bit easier so that's what I'm gonna show you today okay we're gonna start with our drawers here so in my drawers, in my kitchen here, ooh. okay, here is my silverware drawer. Now, we have never had this much silverware in my entire existence, but what I find is that these disappear really quickly in my home. Now, we have a shop, and I feel like the silverware disappears down there because dishes get taken down to the shop, and they get left, and I never see them again. So today's going to be a cleaning day as well. So what I did is a girlfriend told me Sam's Club has silverware for really cheap and you get a whole lot. I want to say it's maybe $15 to $20. I can't really remember the number, but you get a whole lot of forks and spoons. So we use these. I mean, if I got to go buy more, I'll just get another set. I think I bought one last year and so we've had plenty. This will dwindle down over the years or the, the year and then I'll have to get more. So I find that if I have enough for a whole day, I'm good to go just in case I don't do it. Knives. Okay, this is a lot of knives for me. My favorite knives are these this is all I would own if it was just me I would I would even have this one but I do like this one I'd probably just do this one these are my Amish knives I love like a bigger butcher kind a serrated bread one this one I like for vegetables I got this longer one and I actually like it as a little bit longer so these I have and then I have a um, knife sharpener and I would just sharpen these my, my mom was here and my husband was saying honey don't we have a steak knife and I'm like no because we never have steak well the once a year or whatever we have steak my husband wanted steak knife, so grandma brought down a couple steak knives for him. So actually there's three, but the rivets fell out, so I had to throw one away. And then these are butter knives. I don't like to have a thousand butter knives because we never really use them. I used to have the bendable kind, like a butter spreader, but I have zero idea where that went. So I'd rather have those than these, but this is what we have. So I keep four or five here. I would prefer the other ones. If I find the little spreaders, I'll probably use those over that because we don't ever use butter knives. And these are a lot of serving spoons I've uh, <laughs> had over the years just like three and that was good enough and then um we moved i always think like during the holidays i'm like oh my goodness i don't even have enough serving spoons to use and so i've accumulated more my mom has brought me down some my husband has bought me some and so for me if i had to have a bare minimum i would have one like this a slotted spoon one like this and a little gravy one so these would be my choices if you just had to have a minimal amount i keep clothespins in here to close all my bags everything else Stephen comes and uses it for capes as batman so i have a whole lot in here but i use this for clipping papers together anything so those stay in there so this is my silverware drawer that we use all the time this is my extra drawers i have one more and i used it this drawer used to be full and this one always looked like this but now i have another one over here because christmas came and people brought me stuff so i will show you the three again i would use these all the time so i just got a new set this i would use um we have a can opener because I do not like electric ones because they always break. This is the only one I like. It's made in America. I got it from Walmart. So, love it. I only keep a teaspoon and a tablespoon. And I figure if you need anything less, you just look at it and do less. So, I only use one of each. I do have a meat thermometer to check for things on the grill. This is my knife um, sharpener. Again, these, <laughs> we have a lot of serving things. I would never have these before. If it was just minimal i would just have one of these this is just a server for cakes cookies anything like that so i have one of these my mom bought me one for christmas she also bought me some spatulas i had to find the other ones in my the container i i like these long skinny ones 
I didn't think I would and then she gave it to me. I'm like, oh, that's nice. I used to just have one of these and one of these and this was good enough, but I find like I need more in my cooking because I'm like, where's the spatula? Because now I have the girls cooking. So grandma brought me these two. I like those. This is another cake server. Again, just an extra, but we do entertain and have the beaters for my handheld mixer. I love my cookie dough scooper. Use that. Here's ice cream scooper. I never owned a pizza gutter. Would never have one, but the kids wanted one, so they got one. And there's a fork for meat. I would never again use it, but came with the set. This drawer used to be full with that stuff over there, but it was way too full, so it's going to be minimal. It just has a rolling pin. Here's extra pair of scissors. Oh, scissors. Oh, those are my other thing. Hold on. This we got at the dollar store. This is great for scraping up dough off the countertop and using large amounts. So I like that because it was a dollar. It was good. Grandma brought down an apple core. I thought this was great. Would never use these, um, but I do love them. Silicone um, mu muffin like cup liners. We use these. I'll use these a lot. And so, because I always buy paper, these are going to be great, so I'm not going to have to buy paper. Um, this is really nice for cutting apples because we've had a lot of apples. So this drawer is done. I'm going to go skip over here because it goes along with the same thing. This is like the extra drawer. Like I would probably get rid of this stuff, but I use it once in a great while, so I'm keeping it. Okay, got this for Christmas. Humongous flipper. Won't use it all the time, but will when we do pancakes. Another apple core. I was going to get rid of this one because I have another one, but I know Lauren will take one when she gets married. So I don't know. We'll see if I can hold on to it long enough to keep it in here. Turkey baster. I don't care if I have one. My husband and son always take it on Thanksgiving, um, before Thanksgiving for oil in the car or something. And then I'm like, I never have one. So Lauren bought me one for Christmas. I do have a lighter in here. Um, tongs. We do use tongs a lot for things. So I have these tongs. I got these set at Sam's Club. I would just keep one of those. That's good enough for me. Like I use this one in the house, the small one all the time. This is for the grill. Um, but then we had Ashlyn's wedding and I had to buy extra tongs. So I had to buy these and I had to buy these for little tiny things. And then grandma brought me these down. Um, so those are extra. Again, I would normally not have that, but we do entertain and need it. And then this is my slotted spoon. I put it in here because I don't always use it. And I put my stuff in here and I'll show you that in a minute. So I put it in here. This I use for wiping on so like stuff on meat. I have my little strainer for my kombucha when I have it. There's my little lemon squeezer that I got as a product review. Candy thermometer. This I use when I cook my meat all the time. So I have it. Here's a big spatula I got for Christmas. Really big. We'll use for baking. Here's my vegetable peeler that I never use, but once in a while a little child needs it. And then toothpicks are in here. I've had them. So those are all those kind of utensils. I'm going to go over here because... It goes along with it. I'm skipping around. These things I use all the time. I always use a soup ladle. Something. This would be my what you need for every day type thing. Soup ladle, scissors. Like I got three pairs of scissors. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So I have three pairs. They're just over here. Sometimes they end up in the drawer. Um, I need an egg whisker. But if you don't need one of these, like I've never had one of these. I always just use a fork. But this is kind of nice. The girls like it. We have a pancake flipper. We have this one and a metal one. Um, <clears throat> Another spatula, a wooden spoon. I've used the same wooden spoon for years and years and years. Love it. You need a good spoon. And then a big stainless steel one. So this would be like my, even if you didn't have this, I would get the stainless steel of this. So, and you don't need a whisker. I just have it. So that is my utensils. So I'm going to go down here into my Tupperware cupboard. Again, I told you it's going to be a cleaning cupboard. This is a lot of stuff I feel like for a person, but again, we use it. So I love these. These are my deli quart containers had them for years love them use them for everything i have a couple a big stack of tall ones back here as well so these are drying in there here we use just use a big um tin container for the lids and so i put all the lids in here actually that doesn't go in there all the lids in here and then i get yucky i just throw them away on the bottom i have a set of these i think there's four of them in a set i bought those when i moved down here because i didn't have a lot of tupperware i don't use them all the time but I do sometimes. I feel like I need to get rid of them and then I'm like, no, I need to keep them because I have the space. Back there is my lids to my mason jars. Most, I like plastic lids. I need to get some more from Amazon. The containers, I have a couple big containers. I like my very, let's see. I love this big giant one because it holds a whole lot of stuff. I got this on Amazon. I paid a lot of money for it. Had two, have no idea. Look at it. There's like an apple on the floor. That's awesome. Sorry, this is real life here. I had to, and then like, it just disappeared. I was like, where did that go? And no one's like, I don't know. And of course, nobody knows when you're looking for something. So I have one. I had these like given to me through cookies and things over the last year. And I was like, okay, I like them. And there's three that was given to me, but I like the deeper ones. And so I found these at the dollar store. So a Dollar Tree. So I've got two of these. I love these. We have these as well. These will get worn up and used over this year. 
this would be the cupboard that I would never have a lot of, but I do because I have the room now. So on the bottom, let's see. Okay, we have glass baking dishes. I would just keep one if I had a minimal amount, but I've been given th like a couple over the years, and so I have three now. These we, let, we use all the time for um, serving something in. My husband likes them for popcorn. Again, these are for like chips and popcorn. I have these two because we use these. These are extra, but I have them from Ashlyn's wedding. So they're serving like bowls. And same thing with the white things in the back. I think they're sushi plates, but we've used them for her brunch. And then I'm like, you know what? We'll use them for parties and stuff. Grandma gave me the syrup jar. If I get a big giant thing of syrup, I'll probably put it in there. And I have a gravy boat back there as well that we only use once a year, sometimes twice because we do, oh no, we do it with the little muffins and stuff too. This up here, I use a lot. These are my glass mixing, glass mixing jars, glass measuring cups, love a two cup and a one cup, use those all the time. I just found these and really like these. I wanna get some more, probably this size because the kids like these for applesauce and for making their egg cups in the microwave. So I found them at Goodwill and I thought I'm gonna go find some more of these. Love my glass dish with the lid. I have two of them, microwave things all the time in them. This right here, okay, if I had to do a minimal of what I needed, this is, would be it. I would get a big, a big giant one. This is my Amish bowl, love it, love it, love it, use it all the time. This one I got at Sam's Club. So it's, they're the same size, one is wider, one is taller. I use these for years and years and years We'll use them for eternity. And then I would recommend one small mixing bowl. So that's something we always use. These are extra. I got them when I bought a bunch of dishes at Goodwill for Ashlyn's um, wedding. I thought, you know, we could always use a mixing bowl. So we do use these because I have more people cooking. And my stainless steel colander. Always love these. Or colander, however you say it. When um, we were talking when at Christmas time, because you know us Northerners say things different than the Southerners, and so when we were downstairs, Matthew's like, "So how do you say colander?" Or, or they say colander. We say colander, like with that nasally, and they say colander. So just different ways to say things. So that's my top one. Okay, my corner cupboard here are all my appliances. Now I could do a lot away with a lot of these, but I keep them because I have the space. Messy real life. Just going to show you how it is. I use my blender all the time. So that's right here. Always use my food processor. That's something we always use. We do have an air pop popcorn right here. Use it all the time. This ah, stuck. Waffle maker. Got that a long time ago and we do use it occasionally making waffles. Crock pot. I will probably get rid of this crock pot because I love my pressure cooker. So that probably will be on the out but it's not broken, so really no need to get rid of it, so we'll see. Up on top, I have um, some pans here. This is something you don't need. I have just collected it because I like to have it over the years. We have a couple um, cake pans. We do use these, and then our um, springform pan we use once a year for our cheese cake. Here is a tea kettle. Do you need one? No, it usually sits in here. I use it maybe once a year. More than likely, we'll get rid of that. Have my big giant pans here that I got at Sam's Club. Love these, use these all the time. Bread pans, um, these are extra. I think I found these at Goodwill. I thought they were cute because they were little. They're great to use for little breads. Would never have them normally. Um, I have my stainless steel bread pans. We'll have these forever. So don't need these, but need these. Top to my food processor. And then a handheld mixer. I have a handheld mixer back there. Use it all the time. I have a big giant one, but I like the handheld $10 one. Okay, and here is my um, ah, sink, dishes in the sink. Bottle brush for water bottles. I got this myth. You got me these for my cast iron skillet. And then here's my Norwex scrubbies. Oh, that's going to fall down there. My Norwex metal scrubbies. And then under my sink, we keep um, extra sponge over there, scrub brush, things like that. I have a grater over here because I used to make homemade soap, so I just still have it. I don't know. We never usually grate anything. I don't know why it's hung up there. It probably should be in the drawer, but we've had it there forever. Trash bags, extra grocery bags, our soaps. And then here is my cleaners, um, toilet paper on top always. This is what I have in here. Um, this is just full of straight vinegar. It's easy to clean my floors with my Norwex. These are all my essential oils. I keep them in here to use. Um, I like lemon, orange, eucalyptus, and peppermint and tea tree oil. That's mostly what I have. I do have extras that Lauren gave me when she didn't want to. Um, got these for Christmas, some Meyer stuff. This is my Norwex. Um, brush for my warm-up system, extra sponges back here, we've got some 
magic erasers. Um, I do have a thing of bleach because we live in the south and things mold. Um, this is still stainless steel. I still have this. I feel like I just need to get rid of that. But you know what I use this for is my grill because it rains outside and then my grill, this cleans off my grill really well. It's almost gone. I've had it since we moved here and then I started using Norex and don't use it anymore. Mixing dog shampoo, car stuff because if I leave it in the garage, it'll get used up. Um, here's these. And we have Meyer soap and then another container of this and then this is what I use for fleas. I highly recommend this. This is the best stuff ever. Spray it all over your animals. It'll make them smell good. It's got uh, essential oils in it. It's good. Okay, way in the back. I was thinking what's back there. There's some gloves for plumbing in case we have a septic overflow. So this is what's under here. Just usually every day I grab this and my little cleaners if I need it. A dishwasher and then these drawers. This is now my junk drawer. Um, I keep rechargeable batteries. I like these from Harbor Freight. They work the best. I think these need to be charged. I put extra clothespins in here, a flashlight, two kinds of screwdrivers, tape. This is like my extra stuff. There's my battery charger, light bulbs, nails. This fell off the wall and there's some, what is back there? Light bulbs and little Allen wrenches and things like that. So this is like my extra drawer. This one I keep for my towels. So. Grandma had it folded so nice and neat, but we use a lot of towels. I told you we go through towels, tons of towels. This is for my drying pads, washcloths. I don't usually use those washcloths because I use my Norix ones, but if they need to be washed, that's where they are. And the bottom is just a rag drawer. This is all the rag drawer because we use it all the time. Up here is our cupboard full of stuff we use every day. We have plates. I like the Mel Melamin plates from, these are from Big Lots. Love them because they don't break. These are my absolute favorite. We call them blades. Use them all the time. You can only get them in an Amish store, and so we absolutely love these. Every time I have a friend go to Michigan, I'm like, pick me up some more of these because we love them. Can't find them anywhere else. Um, we have bowls. We have coffee cups here. My husband takes to work. I got my Starbucks cup. These cups I love, the restaurant quality cups, but they're a little bit more, and then they get taken to the shop and disappear. So I finally bought some at the dollar store. And they're a dollar, and I feel like I'm just going to go back to the dollar store because I hate losing cups and spending money on them. So that's where I'll be going from now on. I keep a set, two plates, two bowls to put in the microwave for if somebody's got to eat later. Here's all of our coffee cups. We do use a lot of coffee cups, and up on top are extra water bottles. Normally wouldn't have extra, but my son and daughter will get them and then say, do you want these water bottles? So I keep them. Okay, I told you I was moving around in a pattern. I totally changed that pattern. This is my hot pad drawer. Grandma brought us a lot of Christmas ones. So I have a lot of Christmas ones. These are my favorite, just simple like this. But we have a lot of Christmas ones, so I'm using those up. This is for my cast iron skillet to hold on to. Okay, this is my pan cupboard that's just kind of a mess, but it works. I put all my muffin tins up there. I like the small and the big. Do you need the small? No, but I use my big ones all the time. You can see how much I've used them over the years. We've used them for a lifetime. So I like those. I have the square ones here that someone gave me. I like those. So I keep them, the mini ones I like too, but I don't have to have them. And the bottom I have all my cutting boards. I like these with the nonstick backing. Um, I think Zulia Kitchen sent me that free. So I love them. There's four of them. They have different pictures so you know what to cut with it. But I always forget. Pizza pans and then I like um, Grandma gave me silicone liners for my baking pan, so I've started using those. So they're good, they make the cleanup easy. I have my butcher block board my husband made me. Um, I got new cookie sheets for Christmas. I usually like the air bake ones, but they couldn't find them. So I just got like regular ones. They got me two sets of those, one like these, and then um, these ones I like too. They're jelly style roll pans. They have the little ledge. You can get these at Sam's Club. They're so dirty, but I've used them so they're not dirty. They're just burned on. I've just used them for like literally 15 years. And then the big giant ones, the big giant ones are from Sam's Club and they're chafing pans. We use these. It's like a double nine by 13. If I were to say, what kind of pans do you really need? I, in our family, I like the big giant ones from Sam's Club because you can pay like, like most people just do a small glass one for a casserole, but we could do double that. So I like the big ones for us for that. Then we moved down here and I found those deeper ones that I showed you in the corner cover. And those are nice because they're, they're skinnier, but they're taller. And then I would recommend the jelly style roll pans, the, just the small little lip. I would use those and I'd get one set of air bake cookie sheets. That's all you need. These are all extra because we do do a lot of baking. Not a necessity. You can live with just the minimum, which we did for years. The only reason I have more is because we live here and they accumulate. So, and then I got my pizza pans from the dollar store. Okay, down here, down here we keep our griddle. 
And then over here, I keep my pans. I have my chicken fryer right here. I have two of these. The second one is back there. I probably will get rid of that because I don't need so many, but I do use them for my once a month cooking. So I don't know, Lauren's like, keep it mom, keep it, but we'll see. Matthew got me a cast iron griddle, so that's there. And then I have two big pots that I use for cooking. Heavy bottom stock pots, love them. Don't get the thin ones, they'll burn. I have this and then I have a small little one for like cooking something small on the stove. And so that's it. I use the two on the bottom all the time. I would say one of these and then the small little one is back there. I don't know if you can see back there, it's back there. Just the small one, and that's all I'd recommend. I have two just because we've accumulated. This cupboard is my extra. You don't des definitely do not need any of the stuff. This is extra storage cupboard. I have a huge mixer. Use it once a year at Christmas time making cookies, sometimes during the year, but this it's good to have, just not a necessity. I have my big giant pitchers here because in the summer it's nice to have them, and I have two more because of Ashlyn's wedding there. These are all extras. Fr fruit and veggie tray, Christmas pans, veggie dividers, chip and dip tray, nice serving pans. I have a turkey platter and a nice serving bowl from a friend here. I have my three tier thing from Christmas. My cake platter, I love this. I love having that. And then these are, I keep all our chips down here, hidden juices. Um, these are all platters. Again, not a necessity, but I've accumulated and have them over the years. So, and then we keep our drinks and water down there. Um, this cupboard is just our homeschool cupboard, extra cupboard. It's messy because the kids are alive and we use this all the time. We've got all our papers right here, vitamins, all our tools, pencils, pens, scissors, extra stuff, games, paper, and coloring books up on top is like my light bulbs, candles for if the power goes out, extra things for me, painting, things like that. Okay, so I totally was gonna move in a pattern and did not do that, sorry. And the rest of the stuff is just, I'm just looking thinking if there's anything else. Food cupboard, I'll show you my food cupboard, you've seen it before. It's getting empty, so it's getting down to the minimum, but here's our food cupboard. I keep my coffee right here so I can do my coffee. This up here, I keep my glass jars, just easier and out of the way. We use those all the time for yogurt. So that's there, and I keep my little cutter over there for my food processor so nobody slices their fingers off. This is like my spice, a little messy, spice cupboard here. Things like that we use in here. I have all my teas right here. Grandma bought me a bunch of tea, my spices. I keep my sprinkles and flavorings. There's a big container. Like extras usually up there. This cupboard is kind of an extra cupboard as well. It's kind of like you never use this cupboard and you never really use this cupboard. It's just extra, but that's okay. I try to keep sometimes snacks in here. There's candy, popcorn seeds, that kind of thing here. Back there's a Play-Doh container. Up on top is my extra stuff for like my pressure cooker and my applesauce maker and something for my mixer. I just keep it up there because I don't usually use it. <clears throat> this is mommy hide cupboard, but kids know it's mommy hide cupboard, so it's okay. Grandma brought Werner's, so I kept that in there. I use that for if kids get sick. Bought these on clearance at Walmart, so I threw them in here. I thought we'd use them for something. I have my kombucha back here. It's fermenting away. I haven't touched it. There's some, oh, actually, there's some books for like pressure cooker. Jaden's tablet that does not work. I forgot we have that up there. Okay. Um, back there, my kombucha is is cooking away back there. I gotta change that out one of these days. Great thing about kombucha is you can let it just go forever and ever and ever. It just keeps growing. I got jelly belly beans for Christmas, so those are up there. My funnel, and then my kombucha bottle. And the tea that I use for it. Here's my kasori recipe. So this is kind of an extra cupboard. Here's our refrigerator. I got the side-by-side -side with our ice maker. Um, I was gonna get two of these, but I didn't really need that big of a refrigerator for a second one, so I ended up getting a smaller one. It's turned because it does not open because of the cupboard here. So we just got a smaller one because there was no need to get a huge one. And this stores all of our extras in. So that works out good for us. And then we have a pantry. Okay, a little messy in the pantry, but real life. I keep my aprons here, all my big stuff I keep on the bottom. My vinegar, potatoes, my big cans. I keep all my Norwex cloths back here because I don't want anybody ruin them, so I use all my Norwex cloths, I love them. Got the Norwex dusting mitt, this is awesome for dusting. So I use this for my bathroom all the time, this for our windows, these are my favorite. Once used, these are the beeswax liners, or covers that I got. I'm still trying them out, don't know if I love the beeswax ones, someone sent me these for, um, instead of plastic wrap, but I don't know if I love these at all, but it's good, it's all good. And we get a big bucket to have like oatmeal, coconut oil, sugar, flour, that kind of thing. This is where I keep my um, 
roaster. Do you need a roaster? No, absolutely not. It's nice to have to cook big things in. This is Lauren's extra food here. Maxine's bones for the for the month here. We have some Christmas ones for the, the animals. These are just extra. I usually keep napkins in here. Clothes pins and forks and spoons, straws. This is the paper I get. There's butcher paper, plastic. We bought way too much plastic wrap when we wrapped the tree up, so I have a lot of plastic wrap now. <laughs> and then foil and our bags. And then we have all our food. Kind of running low. I mean, it's not running low, but usually I keep, and I keep my bags right here. This one I keep my, I wash them and put it back in here. These are the, the gallon ones. These are the quart ones. And so I keep all my cans right here, crackers. And then we go up to our rice and pasta. I do all my baking here. This is usually extra, extra. Like there's crackers and then there's extra stuff and my cooking stuff and my pressure cookers up on top. So I just got some new vacuum belts. So that's here, my phone and my coffee. So this is my kitchen. This is what it usually looks like. It's very simple, very plain. I don't like a whole lot of stuff out because I don't like mess. I keep my little holder over here that I put my phone on that my son made, my husband made. This is the husband reminder pile. My husband got me some outlets for the walls and um, he's gonna replace those. So this I've been taking these during the sickness season so I do not get sick. I'll let you know if I feel like they work or not. So I just, we got really sick and I was like, I'm not gonna do that again. So I've been taking those, my dishes, keep a candle and plant, that's it. Coffee. I just pulled this up because I want to ask a question about it to Matthew. Um, that little thing there, and then there's our school books. I don't have a whole lot. I put the CD player back there. We have our monthly menu, what I'm doing right here, along with our chore list right here, and then this up on top. So super simple, super easy. I mean, there's I have a lot of extra, but normally don't have all that stuff. If I didn't have the room, I would not have a lot of the extras I have, and that's what I wanted to share in the video. So you don't go, oh gosh, I need all these things. No, do the minimal. The less you have, the less work it is to keep it up. Trust me, trust me, trust me. The more you have, it's like, sometimes you're like, okay, like I found like the reason why I got more spatulas, like I literally used to have just one, but it was just me cooking. So when I had more daughters cooking, I'm like, oh, I could use another one. And then we do a lot of scooping out of jars and I'm like, oh, I can really use a long one. So I like those other ones. That's where I like finding the, the new tools, things like that. You're like, okay, this is making it a little bit easier. So then you collect and use. And so just don't collect and collect and collect and then just let it sit. And the few things I next, probably over the next year, I'll go, okay, get rid of that crock pot. I don't ever use that. I might get rid of a couple more pans that I don't really use, things like that. But if it's not in your way, it's not by than you then it's time to send it on and let somebody else use it so okay i hope you enjoyed this video of what's in my kitchen and we will see you guys again tomorrow okay bye